A concept artist creates a visual representation of an idea for the video game. Their tasks vary. It really depends on which production phase they are in and what needs to be designed. Concept artists draw or paint characters, graphics, environments, weapons, vehicles, or anything that needs some visual development. In the beginning of production, a concept artist does a lot of research and exploration. He or she is researching for the visual language of the world they are creating. This involves a lot of postcards, which is the final form of concept art that we see online. In later stages, concept artists go more into specific problem-oriented tasks. They usually get a list of problems that need to be solved. At this point, they are creating the core concept art which usually don't get shared online. Most of these drawings are ugly, but they are good for solving specific problems. Generally speaking, the concept artist draws concepts for a variety of stuff, like barrels, buildings, and equipment. Also pictures of the horizon in game locations. The quality of the illustration style can vary from quick and rough to detailed and refined. Concept artists are often asked to gather reference for the idea they will be creating, concept art based on, and also based on the story. When a concept artist starts an illustration, they will often start with the composition and the general movement in the painting they are trying to create. Then they work on the light. Some artists try to tackle light and composition at the same time, which is called two-value sketching. Then color and textures. The concept artist can use images when working on it, this aspect of his work, which makes things easier and faster because it is a good starting point. A concept artist can explore and try new things in the process of creating an illustration. He or she can engage their imagination to create abstract shapes to get to the character or vehicle or a building, let's just say. This is good for visual and shape language exploration. He can go with three or four shapes, then he or she will try to combine the aspects that he likes to get a better result. This will give a better sense of direction for going further. Some of the initial sketches make more sense than the others, of course. Some other tasks that a concept artist will do is photographic research, basic 3D modeling, digital painting over simple or partially constructed 3D environments, trips for gathering reference photos from specific real locations as well. The story has a big influence on how concept artists do their job because basically they are trying to visually represent the story to 3D character artists, game level artists, game environment artists, and so on. They try to make illustrations as clear as possible to serve as a blueprint for the 3D artists. Sometimes due to pressure, some things may get lost in the concepts that needs to be explained. The main goal is to inform and give detailed art direction to the production art staff, but that can often mean more than just drawing characters or environments. Some studios don't require concept artists to do matte painting, but they surely use a lot of photos to speed up the process. 3D is an important part of the concept artist's job. It is important for complicated 3D geometry and locations because drawing perspective is hard, so 3D can make this far easier. They can use a game engine or a 3D application such as 3ds Max, Maya, or Blender to block out 3D models. Blocking out elements of the environment in 3D shortens the amount of time spent drawing. Also, it allows to have a better sense of scale and freedom to see the environment from all angles to see if it is visually appealing or not. Once the block out process is over, it's time for sketching or painting over it. Also, a good thing about a concept artist using 3D is a better communication and understanding with level designers and environment artists. If the 3D concept art is good enough, level designers can use it as a starting point rather than starting from scratch because the sense of scale is there. I hope this was useful and helped you to know more about concept art and what a game concept artist does to get his or her job done. Also, you can share with us your thoughts in the comments section below. 
and you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.